Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of a replay between Dimaga and Abver here on Lost Temple. So far, Abver using mass queens with infestors and roaches to try to counteract mass mutilus. Now this may work if, if Abver is able to get um, a, a couple key fungal growth off. If he's able to get a fungal growth off on these tightly packed mutilus, and he will be able to use those acid spines and then take down those mutilus pretty quickly. The queens deal 10 damage per attack and attack with an, a movement, uh, with an attack speed of 1. So that is going to be fairly fast. However, these queens need additional creep tumors. Now spawning some infested terrans. However, there's nothing here. So nothing here for these um, infested terrans to shoot except for overlords. So these overlords will get shot down. And now Roach is pushing in over here. But there's a lot of infested terrans. So uh, what, 24 infested terrans now moving out. Um, these um, infestors need to burrow perhaps in order to do anything and there is enough energy for some fungal growth so mass infested terrans moving out these mutal is not quite sure what to do as more and more infested terrans are continually being spawned so uh, perhaps these infestors need to burrow in order to make room for these queens and move out. The, this expansion has been taken down. There's a large group of mutilists coming in over here. And now these queens trying to fight back. Do we have enough for a fungal growth? No, not enough for a fungal growth. However, there, these infested terrans are able to shoot and deal a lot of damage towards these mutilists. Mutilists now down to, what, 12 mutilists in the air. And that is it. So now we have mass roaches and queens now continuing the pressure forward. We do have these... Queen's now pushing out with those acid spines. Perhaps those roaches should try to burrow and then start attack and then start regenerating once again. So wow, Dimaga Di just getting taken down by mass infested Terran and 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 mass queen. So this is something I've not seen before over here. And we we do see that Dimaga or Dimaga is very well fortified in this location over here. But these queens are just going to be able to deal too much damage. More infested or more infestors now continuing to join it in this fight. So mass queens and mass infestors with roaches as support. And these roaches now able to take down this extractor over here, perhaps try to take down the spire. The creep will recede, so all of these buildings, except for the extractor, will start to bleed. Back over here, we do have the spine crawlers just still waiting off over here. And now a group of mutilists, very, very low hit point mutilists, only 10 of them left. As once again, we see more queens moving out. Perhaps these should start spawning more and more creep tumors in order to get creep spread out across the map. We do see some zerglings over here. Aber now trying to throw down a hatchery will not be able to. This particular mineral patch nearly mined out as well. 31 harvesters, 32. And now we do see these um, what infestors not able to get off any fungal growth. Roaches, and oh, that what the fungal growth just missed right there. Trying to hit a mutilus with fungal growth is very, very difficult. Queen's coming in, and now in comes that fungal growth. Growth. So all of these mutilists now taking a lot of damage and now Queen's able to finish them off. So a lot of these mutilists down to now what 10 hit points. Nor mutilists joining in on that fight. Roach is sitting there but these Queen's with that level now level 2 weapons upgrade and able to deal more damage and now the acid saliva of these roaches are also much higher as well. Will it be enough? Will these Queen's and roaches be able to finish off this army? 3200 mineral army and that does not even include the Queen's sitting over here. So 3,200 mineral army, not including queens. So mass queens, a lot of transfusion. I do not see where those, if there's any additional infestors, you do see that the spire and the spawning pool are now starting to bleed to death. However, extractors do not bleed to death, even if they are off of creep. Mass infested Terran now being spawned over here. We do see that the spine crawlers are now trying to make their way. Queens now coming in as well. So queens and roaches trying to um, hit this very, very fortified position. Not quite sure why they're trying to um, rush into here. Now uh, we do see some transfusion now coming off. And now mass mutilists in the sky trying to take them down. We do see a lot of infested Terrans now trying to shoot down more of these mutilists. Will it be enough? We have what? Four infestors over here. Roach is able to just barrel through these spine crawlers and now going after these hatcheries. So now going after the hatchery and the drones over here. Mutal is still sitting here. Perhaps we're going to get infested Terrans spawned out in just a moment. We have a couple of mutalists there now taking down that hatchery once again. So and Dimaga only mining off of this position here. We do see the overseer now. Infested Terran now being spawned. Only one infested Terran there. But however, the army, 2100 versus 1600. Taking a look at the income, both sides very, very low. We do see some overlords here, but not both sides really not mining all that much. Not exactly sure where all these drones are um, that Adver has. Adver is currently sitting on 29 drones somewhere. Uh, does he have too many drones on a hatchery? Or sorry, on a on a Vespian geyser? Not sure. Dimaga now sitting over here, trying to continue to fight back. Does, not, oh, does have enough uh, minerals for... 
an extra hatchery needs to start mining or doing something the spire will and will bleed to death in just a moment and we already see that the spawning pool is now bleeding to death once, once again infester is getting off a nice fungal growth will it be enough trying to constantly drop in fungal growth all of these mutil is just sitting there it will just be get taken down by these infested terrans in just a moment and able to barely pull out in just the right second overseer down to 12 hit points and will that overseer no unable to escape once again so Abver am doing a great job with these infested Terran and with these queens able to continue to push out we do see Mutilus now trying to come in over here and now spawning more infested Terrans these infested Terrans those swarm eggs taking five seconds to hatch and now just going to be able to protect this hatchery over here. We do see another hatchery over here. Dimaga may lose all of these uh, um, larvae though. These larvae, as soon as the creep recedes, and will not be able to train up any additional units whatsoever. He doesn't have the minerals for it anyways. As these infested Terrans and perhaps going to drop more. Another fungal growth hitting all of these um, mutilists. So the mutilists still taking more and more damage and now trying to pull back once again. Dimaga with that one overseer there. Queen's not even offering any sort of support if those queens came over would be able to start picking those once again picking these mutilists out of the sky and queens just start shooting at these mutilists mutilists down to 35 hit points all most of them in the red only one of them in the yellow as this fight continues Dimaga, for some reason, um, has his hatchery up as well, is not trying to do anything. The Spire down to 190 hit points. That creep needs to extend in just a moment, otherwise he'll lose that. And now these Mutilists trying to take down these Roaches. These Roaches, however, able to move over here and now will be able to put pressure on this hatchery once again. This hatchery will get taken down and by these Roaches. So these Roaches dealing so much damage, 20 damage per attack. And as soon as these Roaches move in over here to try to hurt the economy, Dimaga will be definitely in trouble spawning pool now being laid down once again as the tech of Dimaga completely devastated. Mass roaches trying to take down these drones. Drones and now trying to fight back as well. Trying to save for the run for their lives. But no, trying to fight back. However, the roaches with that base one armor not taking too much damage. And I believe Dimaga will have to call GG. He does not have an economy. He does have four mutilists. That is it. Five mutilists. That is it. What? Five, six mutilists. That is it. 650 a mineral army taking a look at the unit combination you have five mutilists in the air one overseer and that is all that he has left that spawning pool will be completed but dimaga does say gg so yeah hats off to abver i did not think that mass in mass infestors with queens would be able to handle that i totally believe that dimaga or abver needed to get some hydralis however by not throwing down that hydralis then i think Dimaga over relied on Mutilus in order to win the game. And as soon as the, the critical mass, and as soon as we had critical mass on those infestors, those infestors with that fungal growth and spawning infested Terran, it was so, so fast for these infested Terrans and these queens to simply push through this heavily fortified area and simply just get taken down. Those infested Terrans had the level one or level two weapons upgrade and also attack very quickly as well. So their damage, um, not quite as fast as a Hydralisk, but still very, very much to be feared. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay between Dimaga and Abver here on Lost Temple.